Hi, it's Rob here. Um, I'd like to just talk today about some piece of software that really excites me and I think will help you in your business. As a kid, I really loved stories. When I grew up, I studied English literature. And I realized that stories were about relationships, whether they were with your God, yourself, or with others. And relationships then became very important to me to understand why they made such a big impact on my life. I started a business, a printing business, when I was 22. 14 years later, I'm still here with big computer to plate, litho presses, and digital. And there, in printing, I'm helping people tell their stories by marketing. So evangelization in the religious world is telling your story, and marketing is telling your story. But you cannot tell a story unless you have a relationship with people. And that's what I want to talk about today. It's a great piece of software that I've come across that will really help you maintain your relationship with your customers and your friends, which should be both. Uh, I'm just going to get the door someone's here. Hold on. Ow! Oh. Okay, where was I? Where was I? Oh, relationships. Maintaining relationships with your friends, your customers, who in a sense can be both. Anyway. I've come across a great piece of uh, software that's online um, that is really, really useful, and I'd like to share that with you. It's called Batch Blue. Um, I first heard about it from a guy, Chris Brogan, who's great in social media, um, and checked it out. And I'm very, really, 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 really happy with it. Now, I don't have shares in the business, and they're not paying me to say this. All I want to do is share a great tool with you, and someone else is here. Okay, alright, sorry, this is a Saturday morning I'm doing this and I'm closed, but you can see a lot of people coming to visit me, hence the need for accurate um, place to learn and know and store details about customers. Back to Batch Blue. And they, I don't own shares, they're not paying me, great tool. Right, it's a very disruptive video. But, BatchBlue.com, right, check it out. What I really like about this is it's more than just a CRM package, okay? I'm a big fan of databases and I get all excited about programs like FileMaker Pro, uh, which I use on my Mac a lot, and Bento, which is a great tool. The problem with those tools um, is FileMaker is great, but I think quite pricey. Bento is great, only works on Mac. I work cross-platform. Most of my stuff, I love my Mac, but I work on, on um, Windows on some, sometimes, ugh, I know, Windows, um, and a lot of Linux stuff, particularly um, my relationship with Marion Hill Mission Press, which is a printing press 128 years old. They're using Mac and Linux servers that I've put in there. Now, I'm out in the field a lot, and I'm in different places, so it's great to have software that I can go in and, and see my customers, see what they're up to, and communicate with them on any machine as long as I've got internet access. Now, the really exciting thing there is it's not like a simple address book. Okay? What I really like about this is the tagging options for grouping contacts together. And then there's a thing called super tag, which is absolutely awesome, which allows you to put your contacts details in. And then if they have a Flickr account, Twitter account, or LinkedIn, you can put that in and it will automatically hunt them, find them, and show you the latest posts from it. And that's what I think is probably the most powerful thing that I use in this, is to know not just my contacts, name and number, but what they're doing now, where they are in their lives now. That's the most important thing, I think, about a relationship with your friend or a customer, is to know where they are and to respond accordingly. So, if I happen to go to a customer, I can see their latest, latest pics that they've posted on Flickr, where they've been on holiday, perhaps their latest products they've uploaded. I can see what they're thinking on Twitter and doing, and LinkedIn. One thing I'd really like to see them do is have a Facebook feed. Now, I don't know if that's possible, I don't know what the deal is there, but for me that would be awesome. Is If I'm friends with them, I, I'd love to be able to see a Facebook feed, because I use that quite extensively. Um, but nevertheless, um, I don't want to make this long-winded, it's already been crazy as it is, but check out Batch Blue for your business. Um, there's various packages, you pay monthly, um, 
ten dollars for the South African guys. Yeah, we're all going to wish it was a bit uh, more affordable, but it, it's not going to break the bank. Um, if Batch Blue want to give South Africa a whole discount, that'd be awesome. But I don't think it's necessary. It's it's, it's well priced. Um, but but look at it for your business because I think if you care enough about your customers and and perhaps. I've made the mistake of being on the treadmill a lot, just running, 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 doing the work, doing the work. And always knew it was about relationships, but never gave the relationships as, as much attention as I did in building up my equipment. I, I spent hours and hours of, of energy buying, planning new equipment and technologies and that. And um, I've now realized the, the real value of, of putting the same effort into your customers and your relationships and understanding them. It's got a great export feature to MailChimp, which to be honest I haven't used as yet. Um, I'm using other methods at the moment, but will be moving um, to mail out from BatchBlue uh, through MailChimp, which also you can get an account, looks really great. So check it out, I think it'd be good for your business. Um, and yeah, post reviews in, in the Facebook group and, and let's, let's see if it helps anyone else. And um, I know they batch blue uh, contact us, um, send out things. They're on Facebook, so you can check them out. Um, but yeah, you'll be doing yourself a favour, not me. But yeah, sorry about the disrupted video. See you around next week. See ya.